Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another empties video. So I have my little bucket full of empties and just like usual, I'm just going to show you, give kind of like my mini review on each of the products. And yeah, so I'm basically just showing you my trash and what I think about my trash. So that's pretty cool. Um, I brought my side cut back. Woo! So finally, finally, I shaved my side cut again after four months of not um, doing anything with it. Uh, no particular reason, I just didn't feel like having it short. So I let it grow and four months later I had the desire to shave it short. So that is what I did, so I brought it back. Um, as I was shaving it, like me and my boyfriend were sitting there and we were like, why is like so like it's totally even like it's totally just buzzed totally just like almost bald buzzed and like some parts of my hair are like darker than the others it's the weirdest thing so it looks kind of silly right now but it'll be fine in a couple days it'll grow out a little bit so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started and i will show you guys my trash this first product is something that i have shown in an empties video before except the only difference is it's in a bigger size. So I have finished up the Dove Go Fresh Cool Moisture Body Wash in Cucumber and Green Tea Scent. If you guys remember seeing that empties video where I talk about this, I was in love with it. I was in love with the scent. I was in love with what it did. And it was just awesome. And I miss it so much. This has been sitting in here for a while now. And I really need to go purchase this again because I loved it so much. And another thing is all the other body washes that I'm using right now are really making me break out like on my chest. Um, and on my back. I don't know why that is, but I'm obviously allergic to something, but my whole chest is just like breaking out. And I remember using this, I never had that problem. So I think I'm gonna go back to using this. It's just that perfect, fresh, clean scent. I just, I miss it. So I'm definitely going to forever be repurchasing this because it is amazing. The next thing that I have in my little bucket of trash is a packet of gum. And that is this gum right here it is the Eclipse Incredibly Fresh Breath. And this is in Winter Frost. And this is just a little eight piece gum. Uh, I picked this up at Dollar Tree last time I went because I was out of gum and I was like checking out at Dollar Tree and I saw it in the check and I was like, eh, don't mind if I do. So yeah, it's totally empty. All the pieces have been eaten. I really did um, eaten, eaten. I really did enjoy this gum. It was really fresh. It was really good. I do have another pack of this right now in my purse. So I am finishing up the second pack and I was pretty happy with it. And for only what 99 cents, that's, you know, good deal. So I was happy with this as well. So the next product I have in here is a hair product and this is the Organics Nourishing Coconut Milk Conditioner. And it just looks like this. I got this years ago. Like I want to say maybe um, early 2013 and I just now finished it up. Um, I got this because Back when I first purchased this, my hair was in really, really bad shape because I was bleaching my roots every four weeks, which in my opinion is way too early to be doing root touch-ups. Like I feel like you should wait until you at least have an inch or more of re regrowth before you dye your hair. But anyway, I was dyeing my hair every four weeks and my hair was fucked. Like, let me tell you, it was just destroyed. So I heard anything like coconut milk conditioner, coconut oil, anything like that can help. So I picked this up then and I just recently finished it. Um, it was okay. I'm not really the big biggest fan of this smell just because I think it's too coconut and I just don't really like coconut all that much. But yeah, finish that up. Um, Organics does have really good products. I also use their keratin treatments as well. So yeah, I recommend picking them up if you're looking for something to um, help the health of your hair. I think that would be this would be a good option for you. Next, moving on into my bucket, we have some hair dye. Um, this is the hair dye that I used the first time I went from blonde, purple, I had purple hair and then blonde and then brown. This was the first color application that I did and it is obviously empty. If you wanna see how I went from blonde slash purple hair to brown, go ahead and click up in either of these corners and there will be like a little card thing that will slide across for you. And you can go ahead and check out, um, you know, how I did it. And anyway, yeah, this was the hair dye that I used. I also used it on these extensions. I really like it. I really like the smell of it. I think it smells good. However, the ammonia in it is quite strong, so just be aware of that. But yeah, this is the one that I used. It was um, a warmer toned brown in the number 5G medium golden brown. So it just looks like that. This was about $10 and I was very happy with the results with that as well. And also with my hair, I've been considering going darker than this. Like I kind of want to go like a brown black or maybe like a black, like go 
all the way over to the dark side because one like really really dark black hair is like my dream hair and I just think that would be sweet. So what do you guys think? Should I go darker? Hmm. The next empty that I have in here is a hand cream and this is just a little EOS hand cream. I can't remember what flavor this is in but it kind of smells like um, pepperminty kind of. I know you can get these at Five Below for like two, three bucks. I love the EOS hand creams. They're just as good as the lip balms. I have several of the little lip balms and I love the hand creams. They're just as good in my opinion and they're amazing. So if you're in for something new to try out for your hands, definitely this. I really, really like Gold Bond, like the little hand lotion, but this kind of beats it. It's amazing. Moving on, I have my beauty blender <laughs> or lack thereof. It is time to to retire my pink beauty blender. <sighs> I've had this thing for over a year, which is way past the time you're supposed to have these things. They say beauty blenders last up to like three months, which use, I think you can use it longer than that, but I've had it for over a year and I think that is, that's pushing it. But yeah, um, you're probably wondering what the hell happened to it. But yeah, here's what it looks like. It's totally done. It's had it. It's died and passed on already. And the top of it, um, I was cleaning it and my nail, I was like cleaning it and it like ripped. So it like was hanging off a little bit and I just decided, you know what, fuck it. So I cut it and was using it this way for a while, which is totally freaking jank. So I just ended up getting a new one. I now have the uh, purple beauty blender and then I also have the orange real techniques one. So it's time to retire this one. Like look how pathetic that is that I had to cut it. You can see where it like ripped and then I just cut it in half to make it work. So yeah. There it is, it's time to go. Next in my bucket, I have a mascara, and this is one by Avon. This is the Mega Effects Mascara in the color black, and this is a very unique mascara. This ranges for about $10, and here's what the packaging looks like. And to apply it, you take it, it's kind of like a little, it's like fun dip. You kind of take it and you just pull it, pull it out, and then here is the actual mascara wand. Isn't that crazy looking? Look at that, and then you would just apply it like this to your lashes. Um, it is time to retire this guy because he is totally dried out and I cannot use him anymore. Like, the, he's, he's totally dried out. Like, every time I go to use it, there's like nothing on my lashes, so... Yeah, it's time. Will I ever purchase it again? Probably not, just because I have other favorites compared to this one, but I did enjoy it while I had it. It was very unique, so I'm glad I got to try it. The next thing we have is a little sample size of Head & Shoulders. This is the Classic Clean, just the regular travel size one that you can find in any travel size aisle. The reason why I have this is not not for me, I did not use it. I actually used this on Motley, my dog, my little chihuahua. Um, Motley is like, he is the most complicated dog, like the poor thing. He has allergies, dry skin, dandruff, and it's that poor dog. Anyway, every time like we get into like the winter months or it starts getting really, really cold here, Motley will start flaking and getting really bad dandruff. And he's a little black dog, so you can really see it, especially like on his... Um, like up by his like neck because that's where he gets the most dry and itchy. So he was having really bad dandruff. And my first thought was head and shoulders because it's soothing, it'll soothe his skin and it'll help and head and shoulders is heaven sent. If your dog has dandruff, try it out. Just put a little bit, lather it up and really kind of get in the areas that are really super dry and it helps. They smell super good afterwards. It doesn't seem to irritate his skin, but like I said, don't use too much because this isn't for dogs, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, this he really likes it. It seems to really help um, with his flaky skin. Again, it only happens when we go into like the winter months. So I usually buy these little travel ones for his bath time when he's like really, really flaking. But yeah, this really did help. Um, I heard other people use this on their dogs too. So it's not too big of a deal as long as you don't use too much and doesn't get in their mouth or their eyes or, you know, whatever. But yeah, this really helped my little guy with his dandruff. The next empty I have is a pen, and that's something I've never had in an empties video before. But I got this pen a while ago, and this was one of the best pens I have ever had in my life, and it's just barely hanging on by a thread. Like, it's only got a couple little swipes left in them. And I don't know, I just really liked, I wanted to add this in my empties video because I really liked the way he wrote. Like, I really liked the ink in it. I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but... This pen will be missed and I really enjoyed writing with it. It was good times. 
The next empties that I have is a primer, and this is an empty e.l.f. mineral face primer. Just looks like that. This is one of my all-time favorite brands. I love e.l.f., and this is also one of my all-time favorite face primers. If you have not tried their face primers, I highly, highly recommend that you get out there and do so. I just love the way it may smooths out your skin and gets it ready for, um, yeah, that's all that's left in there. Um, I just love how it like smooths out your skin and gets it ready for your makeup and it makes your makeup go on so much smoother. The next empty product is another hair care product and that is an empty Tresemme Thermal Creations. This is a heat protectant spray. Um, it is very, very important whenever you use heat on your hair to always protect it from the heat so it doesn't get damaged. And this is my all-time favorite. It's very, very popular. This is one of their most popular items. And it's just a regular heat spray. I already have repurchased this. Um, it's worth the money. It's only like three, three to five dollars depending on where you go. And I love it. Definitely my hair would be way more damaged if I didn't have this in my life. So if you're looking for a heat protecting spray that you haven't tried yet, definitely give this one a go because it's amazing. Moving on, I have a couple acne free products. I have the oil-free purifying cleanser and then I have the renewing toner. They're both totally empty. There's like a little swig of this guy in in their left but yes I have totally used up all of these. This is like the best product for my skin. I have very very bad skin. My skin is not good at all and it's very acne prone so and nothing else worked on my skin. Proactive didn't work. Clean and clear worked okay, but not as well. Acne free is the best thing that I can use on my skin. I love it so much. I'm actually going to use it on my chest because I don't know what's breaking me out, but I don't know. I don't know if it's stress or if it's a different body wash that I've been using, but I'm totally broken out everywhere. So I'm going to start using this on my body um, in parts that's broken out to see if that works. But regardless, it works really well on my face. I still have the lotion because the lotion just takes forever to go through. But yeah, so that is what that looks like. And I actually got a really good deal on this. I found the um, three-step system, like the cleaner, the toner, and then the lotion at Five Below for five bucks. This whole system usually ranges 20 to $30. So when I went to Five Below and I saw that they had them there, I was like, what? So I bought like three packs of it. So I do have some in my shower right now and I'm just gonna use that to kind of clear up my blemishes and it works really, really well. Next product I have is another mascara and this is a CoverGirl one and this is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. I did a review on this a long, long time ago when I first started my YouTube channel. So I've been using this for several years now. It was like an all-time favorite of mine, but since discovering the L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara, like nothing can beat that at all. But I do still really like this mascara and I picked it up again recently just to give it another go and see how I liked it. And it dried out really, really quickly. Um, I used it for like maybe a couple weeks to a month and it just dried out really fast. So yeah, I did enjoy it, but it just dried out really quickly. So the next product I have is some hair dye. This is from Directions and this is a flamingo pink hair dye. Um, when I had pink hair, I dyed it um, like really, really hot pink. And the hair dye that I used was the Directions hair dye. Um, obviously it won't work now because I am a brunette, but this is what I used and one tube is empty. Sad to see it go. I loved having colored hair, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Moving on to some makeup products. The first one that I have here is an Artistry Concealer. Um, this is just their creamy concealer, and this is in the shade Medium. Uh, there's what it looks like. I have definitely hit pan on it, and the rest of it is just too, too old to work with because I've had this for quite a while. So that is an empty. This is like one of my all-time favorite concealers ever. This is a little bit more on the pricey side, but in my opinion, it's worth it because it's so creamy. It really blends out, and especially the medium shade, it's got like a really kind of yellow undertone to it, so it helps kind of cancel out any like redness or blemishes that you may have. So I really like this concealer. Next few products that I have are all face primers. So first I have two little sample sizes of the Smashbox one, the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, I have an oil-free, just a regular one, kind of like the e.l.f. one. And then I also have a light. So these two right here, just little samples. I wasn't really too crazy about them. They were just okay to me. Would I ever purchase the big one? Probably not, just because I like e.l.f. more. But I finished those up completely. Um, the next one is a Cover FX. It is a mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment. Um, I received this as a gift, so I don't exactly know where it's from, but I didn't really see it like defeat any of my acne when I used to use it. Of course, it, this is only a sample size, so it's, I maybe if I got the bigger size, I would see a difference, but I really didn't. Um, just looks like that. It's just a regular 
primer. Um, it was it worked okay. I don't really think it worked that well as a primer, but that's just my opinion. And then the last facial primer is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I loved this stuff. Oh my gosh. Fabulous, fabulous stuff. Loved it. Um, it really... It was a fantastic, fantastic job of really covering up your pores. I have like forehead wrinkles and it did a really good job of covering those as well. I was just so, so happy with this and I probably will repurchase this again just so I can kind of mix it up between the e.l.f. and the baby skin. This is, I think it's the same price as the e.l.f. one and this one lasted me a really long time. So I was super, super happy with this one. Next makeup product is an empty e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. Again, one of my all time favorite eyeshadow primers. It really does a good job of holding on to your eyeshadow. I'm not wearing any today. I don't know why I just stared at my eyes, but yeah, I was super happy with this. It's totally empty and yep, just gone and I was happy with it and I have a few more of these because like I said, it's one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow primers. If you're looking for an eyeshadow primer just to try out, definitely get this one because it's only one dollar. You really can't beat one dollar products. Moving on, I have a little sample shampoo that I got from Dollar Tree, and that is a John Frieda Full Repair Reverses Damage with Every Use. It is a Strengthen and Restore shampoo. Just looks like that. I was in Dollar Tree getting a few cleaning items for my apartment, and I noticed that they had like a little travel section like aisle, and I went down it and I saw John Frieda. I was like, John Frieda and Dollar Tree. All right. So I picked this up, this little sample, and I've heard a few people talk about this back in the day. And I'm not really sure if it works or not, just because it's so small, I feel like I didn't get enough chances to use it. Because my hair is, my natural hair is about down to my ribs. So I do kind of have longish hair, so I do have to use quite a bit of shampoo to wash it all um, when it really needs it. And yeah, I just feel like I didn't get enough chances to use all of it. Maybe I will get the full size bottle and try it out just to see how well it works. But I like the smell of it, I just feel like I didn't have enough shampoo to like see it really make a difference. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, that is an empties one. Moving on, I have another bath product and it is one by Bath and Body Works. As you can see, I wanted every last bit of this out. Um, but this is a golden sugar scrub from Bath and Body Works and this is in Twilight Woods. This was actually my sister and then she got about halfway done with it and said that I could use the rest and I was more than happy to. And I loved it oh my gosh I didn't I don't really like the smell too much like it's okay but it's not like one of my favorite smells but I really like these sugar scrubs because they make my skin so unbelievably soft it is just freaking amazing I loved this so much every time I would use it I would like squeeze it and just try to get every little bit out onto my hand to use it so Probably in the future I will definitely be repurchasing some of these because I loved them so much. I don't know how much this ranges from, but yeah, loved it. Totally worth it. Go buy it. I have two more mascaras. I have a Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara, which I did do a review on. If you are interested, you can go ahead and check that out. It was okay. It wasn't one of my favorites. I probably won't ever repurchase it unless I was desperate and needed a mascara. Um, it was just okay. And then I have a sample size of the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I loved this stuff. I wand on it. I like the way it worked on my lashes. It was just fabulous. So I have these two empties. They're just both really dried out and I can't use them anymore. So second to last thing that I have are little shampoo and conditioner samples. In case you can't tell, I am someone who really likes to experiment with different shampoos. So I will probably always have more than one empty shampoo or hair care product in my empties videos because I'm constantly trying out new hair care products and shampoos are my favorite. So yeah. Um, I actually got a magazine the other day and I was flipping through it and I saw sample sizes for these, um, the shampoo and conditioner. And I think this is actually a UK brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I think they just recently came to the US, but is the, um, Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf. I hope I'm saying that right. There's the name of it right there. So I think the Omega Repair and Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner, um, it says this is for damaged, depleted hair. Oh, this is what's leaking. Yeah, I did use this last night so I could give you guys kind of like a right away review and I liked it. The number one reason why I liked it is because of the smell. It's got a very perfumey smell, so if that's something you're not really into, then this probably isn't for you. 
but both smell really perfumey. They kind of smell like lotion in a way, um, but they're for your hair. <laughs> uh, I didn't really see it repair anything just because I only used it once and it was only a sample size. But what I will say about it is that the shampoo, I only used a little tiny bit of it and it lathered up my whole head. So maybe I will purchase the big size bottles, maybe I won't, don't really know, but I really enjoyed the smell of them. And yeah, if you guys have tried these, like the full size bottles, um, what do you think of it? Is it like good? Do you like it? Um, yeah, I really like the smell and I liked that I didn't have to use that much. So yeah, cool. Let me know in the comments if you've used this. I'm so freaking sick of talking, but I have one more product to show you guys, and then that is it. My empties bucket is totally empty, and that is an NYC eyebrow pencil in the color 927 Taupe. This is the eyebrow pencil that I use on my eyebrows to fill them in. I was using an Anastasia um, Brow Wiz, but that ran out, and I'm not going to spend $20 on a brow pencil when this is like $0.97. Cents. Um, I love using this for my brows. It's really... I don't know, I really like it, the color's good. Um, like I said, I used the color taupe, which right now I could probably get away with going a little bit darker because my hair is darker. But yeah, nothing really much to say about it. It's totally empty, there is no more product in there. So yeah, um, if you're looking for something to um, fill your brows in or do something different with your brows and you don't want to spend an arm on a leg, check out the NYC pencils because they never fail me. They're really, really good. <sighs> We're done. We did it. Yes. So I drank, my throat hurts. Ah, yay for Dr. Pepper, woo woo. So that is everything that I have for my empties video. I know it was so much and so long and I'm sorry about that, but I, you know guys, I love really sharing my empties with you guys and showing you my trash. So, and I know some of you really like these videos as well. If you did enjoy it, please give it a huge thumbs up. I would really greatly appreciate it. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys, bye.